This is 1416 35th Street Northwest. Beautifully painted uh, Georgetown home. With a low maintenance yard. Mulched. Beautiful tree. Coming out onto 35th. Looking north. Looking south. The home's next door. Down here, just at the corner, you have uh, three things. There's a there's an independent coffee shop, as well as a uh, it looks like an antique store, as well as a barber slash hairstylist. Um, and we are just a few blocks up from M Street. <clears throat> Coming in the front door, there's a second entry door, in the glass front. We enter into the dining room. All original moldings. Recessed lights. The, uh, the heat looks like it, there is a whole house forced air system, although it looks like uh, it may be radiator heat. This is moving back into the formal living room. Again, you have the detail in the crown moldings, period fixtures, medallions, some built-in bookshelves, beautiful wood-burning, actually that's a gas fireplace. Moving outside, move to the patio. Lattice work. You get a good view of the fenced backyard, and there is an uh, there is an entrance to the backyard from the lower level. Moving back towards the front of the house, have. Beautiful staircase. These are all original hardwood floors. Going down to the lower level, we have this is looks like a, a terracotta or stone uh, style ceramic tile. Looking to the rear and looking forward opens up into the beautiful kitchen fully renovated showing exposed brick and there's a door leading out to the front area front yard little uh, uh, workspace here the desk beautiful cabinets this is a newer KitchenAid side-by-side -side refrigerator KitchenAid dishwasher KitchenAid gas range. We have the KitchenAid instant hot hot water uh, dispenser, stainless steel sink. And on the lower level, between the kitchen, the stairs, and the lower rear bedroom, we have the second full bath, water closet. vanity and shower beautiful tile work moving back this is considered one of the bedrooms and you enter through glass french doors Beautiful view of the backyard. This is the mechanicals, the hot water heater, and 
the uh, boiler for the radiator system. We have a brick patio. And it looks as though they're friendly with the next door neighbors because they do have uh, the fence open here to pass between. The uh, building you're seeing uh, towards the back is uh, belongs to the next door neighbor. Fairly low maintenance yard. I talked with the listing agent and it turns out this had been her home and then they've had renters in it uh, most recently and now they're selling it. Moving back upstairs. To the main level. So if you end up using that lower rear bedroom room as a bedroom you would end up having to cook meals on the lower level and bring them up to the family the dining room on the main level which could be frustrating we arrive on the upper level master bedroom to the front or a second bedroom to the rear go to the rear you pass through glass door Plantation shutters. There's two closets. As well as a larger closet here. Built in shelves. And space for storage above. Original glass transoms. Skylight. In the center of the hallway, we have the master bath. It's been renovated. It's a little bit of a tight space. But there is a dual vanity. And we do have a tub, a small tub and shower with ceramic tile surrounds. And again, another skylight. Passing through another glass door, we come to the front room. This looks like a built-in dresser that would convey. Again, wood plantation shutters. These doors open to a large closet. mirrors on both sides of the door and another storage space passing through this glass door essentially this looks like another closet they've set up with a hanging rod and just a little bit of storage space so that could be storage or just another closet That is 1416 35th Street, listed for 1.349.